The community says its final goodbyes to a mother and key witness in an upcoming murder trial. Family and friends of Bianca Horton gathered today for her funeral at Olivet Baptist Church. News Channel 9's James Torres was there. He joins us with what people had to say at the service. James. Josh, Latricia, it was a very emotional afternoon for friends and family of Bianca Horton as they finally laid her to rest. They shared several tears honoring her memory, but more importantly, they spoke about how she was an ambassador in a fight against violence. Friends, family, community. The only bit of light brought out by the death of Bianca Horton. Cars lined up outside all of it Baptist Church, all here to attend her funeral. A life that might have been lost because she was willing to step across the line of silence. It's something investigators often find in cases where witnesses are too afraid to testify. Mayor Andy Burke says Horton represented hope. She was not willing to stand for the violence. She understood that you had to speak out when something terrible occurs in our city, and that's the kind of hope that we need uh, throughout every neighborhood. Burke says Horton's family requested the presence of the Chattanooga police officers. CPD worked closely with Horton after police say Cortez Sims shot her, her daughter, and two others in a home invasion just last year. Officers say she bravely worked with them, and her death was even tragic for those who see violence every day. You know, there were officers in the, in the department. They got to know her well, and then through different um, events that she attended to uh, um, community events, you know, go, uh, speaking out against the violence, along as, as well as the court proceedings um, and the investigation when her, when, she, when her child was shot. Every speech from the funeral had a very similar theme. Bianca Horton was an inspiration, inspiring community members to help bring an end to violence in their neighborhood. CPD says they still haven't made any arrest in Bianca's death. They've asked local, state, and federal agencies to help. Patricia. James, thank you. Horton was expected to testify in court next week against Cortez Sims. His trial begins on Thursday.